for Deep Dish. It's a part of the show. We're going to go deep on a topic or dish about ourselves. Yeah. Let's get into this. Nothing can ruin a day like getting a speeding ticket. Makes True. sense, right? Yeah. So this Michigan woman, she was so annoyed that after she got her ticket, she flipped off the officer with a specific finger. We've all been there before. <laughs> wanted to, up. wanted to, but never <laughs> gone there. I was like, okay. Never gone there. So the officer came back again and edited her ticket to reflect the flipping of the off. <laughs> and so it, to reflect a more serious infraction. So that wasn't the end of the drama. The Michigan lady then take, took the t cop to court. Oh, and you will wow. never believe it. The United States Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit sided with the woman citing freedom of speech. So she won this case of being allowed to flip off the officer. What do you guys think? Flipping, it's unbelievable. Flipping off is so weak. Like, that is not, it, that is not offensive. You know what's a, bet, a more effective thing to do when someone makes you mad in your car? To go, uh-uh-uh. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Just try that. It feels really good. You know they get the message, and it doesn't make you seem see, like so y'all. Y'all are joking about this. There's no way. If I got pulled over, I would try any of this stuff, and that's <laughs> please, real. Please, please don't. But that's just real, right? <laughs> like don't. to hear a story like this, I don't even really need to do much research on it. I'm not putting all officers in this boat, but I just know as a black male, I ain't doing anything but this how fat. Okay, and, and, and keep it moving. Yeah. I, I think to to do that. Yeah, it's a funny story, but I'm just being real as I read it. I was like, I would never take that risk. Yeah. yeah, would, you yeah, ever, yeah. would you ever tell somebody who, who, who looks like me to do something like that? No. I don't think so. Yeah. Never. No. And that is the sad truth of the yeah, reality. I, I know this was a funny story. I wouldn't try to get deep, but when I saw it, th that's immediately what I thought. Right, and I mean, free speech or not, it's just never a good idea to yeah. try to do something that's going to anger a cop even further. Even if you've already gotten your ticket, who cares if it's protected by free speech? Still not a good People idea. People out there losing lives, y'all. Yeah. And yeah. like, to me, with that story, I was just like, whoa, good for that person. If they were able to do that, take it to court yeah. and win. That's just not the narrative for a lot of people who look like me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So, I mean, do you feel like that that should be acceptable? I mean, look, this went all the way to Sixth District Court. Like, do you feel like it should have gone that far? Or what, is it something that, well, clearly the court decided that the officer just has to get over it. But, it, I mean, the officers, they're in a tough job when just when people disrespect them like that. I will add but to that. Yeah. that doesn't warrant, okay. I will of course, add to that, though. What you're saying, serious. Felicia's absolutely right. Police officers have. A tough task already yeah and and they should be respected they are the law and I think for for that kind of disrespect hey you were the one speeding so why are you flicking me off yeah, yeah. I'm trying to save you on the roads from getting an accident and save everybody else on these streets too so yeah. I'm out here trying to save your life and as I'm walking away you're gonna flick me off yeah. I'd say shame on that woman to be and honest I'm just like who has all this time now we got to go to court I'm I don't like, know. Who wants to hire a lawyer I gotta be go at work it. okay I gotta put it. some food on the table for the kids that I don't have yeah. like who has the time to go sit don't flip people off it's lame <laughs> right at the end of the day just don't flip <laughs> I mean I'm not gonna do that finger but going like mm, yeah. I'm so mad here's yeah. my little finger that's so stupid don't flip them off use the actual word is yeah. what you're saying okay but also yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher Felicia. Yes, right? But Here's also, let's word. be real. Use how, your words. How good does that sometimes to just hit him with somebody <laughs> once? To just use that figure. It feels good. I get it. I know it feels I know. good. But don't do uh. it, everybody. All right, so let's move along here with a, a lighter one, too. Uh, is there a word in the English language that you guys hear and you're like, oh, not that word? <laughs> yeah. It makes me cringe. Don't use that word. Well, the culture trip oh. com. they got a list of the top words that people just can't stand the sound of. It includes some of these. Flim oh, is one. I can see that. I think mucus is worse than it's, flim. But it's, it means the same thing, and it's so gross. Yeah. Uh, tofu is another one. I don't see I tofu. Okay. Ointment Where? is another one. I can Ointment. see because it's like a uh, oing, the oing, uh, oing part. Uh, oing. Squat. How about squat? <laughs> squat, no. Well, I do squats hate, every day. We just hate squats. Okay. Yeah. But not the word. <laughs> yeah, I hear you say doing them. All right, so do you guys have a word that you hear? I'll start us off here. The one word when I hear people say it, no matter how they're using it, I'm just like, come on, there's a better word. Moist. Oh, yeah. Oh, when yeah, everybody you do says hate moist, that word. It's like, come on, bro. You gotta say moist. Nobody say likes anything moist. Anything else. So, what you wanna say, a damp. little bit of wet, but not too wet because it's still a little bit of dry. Is that More a than damp. Phrase for you? <laughs> Just use damp. It's really gross if you say it really slow. Moist. 
It's so gross. Worthy. <laughs> I don't know if it's getting cringeworthy or sexual. I don't know which way you are going right there. <laughs> no, that's because she, she's a cute girl. That's why. All right, that's what do you guys, guys got? You guys got one? Yeah, mine is, mine is, I don't even want to say it. Oh, gosh. It's, can you say it on TV? I'm nervous. It's, it's panties. That's mine, yeah, too. Mine is, I want to say panties. Mine is panties, And then too. pantyhose. My mom, my mom still says that. She'll still text me on the show. She'll be like, you need to wear some pantyhose with that dress. I'm like, no, Panties mom, is an awful one. I hate I that hate one, panties. too. It's not. That's you go to the store. It's not like, it, it, panties are supposed to be like a sexual attractive thing, yeah. you know, depending on what kind of panties you're wearing. Yeah. And it's just like. You keep saying thought. it. It makes me crazy. I know. Like, oh, it's like oh, not. not a cute word to describe something that can be so cute and beautiful and intimate and feminine and it's like peonies. Yeah, it's, a, it's a turn off for a guy if, if, if a woman can say I got some sexy panties. I'm like sexy cool. Panties lost me. So what do you like, say? Turn like off. you say underwear draws. What do you say? I, draws is very <laughs> I, I actually say draws. Uh, I, I say so underwear bad. or underpants. Just call lingerie. Even if it's not, I don't know. Okay. Uh, lingerie lingerie is sounds like it's going to be a special right? time. Right? Like, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I like lingerie. Maybe every day could be lingerie. <laughs> yeah. No? Yes, I like it. <laughs> it certainly sounds better, Jordan. Yeah. I, I think those are, is there any other words that come oh, immediately? Oh, the other one I had was pus. Oh, yeah, oh. pus is gross. Yeah. I think like with pus and phlegm, <laughs> I hate saying those, <laughs> but like they make you think of what the thing is, and yeah. that's why it grosses you out, because you're just like. <laughs> Another one, um, poop. Really? Like, I, I, it's, it's gross already. I just think that word is just a goofy word. Like, I just like, call it anything else. Okay. So you feel silly when you're saying it, you're saying I it. mean, you know what you should say. We can't say it on TV. <laughs> just, just, just call it that. BM? So what do you say, like, around children? Because you can't say... Wait, what's BM? Bowel movement? No, I mean the curse word. That's just what yeah. you should do. Oh, I thought you meant another word for poop. <laughs> Carly, but I love that that's where your mind went. She said I, BM. I, I was like, BM. Her mind is rated I still don't G. know what he's thinking. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you in the commercial well, break because you can't say it here. Okay. But like you can't say that word. It's another word for poop. You can't say it. It's a cuss word. But the S you, word? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You hate that word? No, I'm saying you should use that word. But you um, can't say that around children. So what do you say around kids? I just say it around children. <laughs> <laughs> I say it around my Go dad. <laughs> oh, no. He, in his pants again, honey. <laughs> oh, he in the bed. Yeah, right. Oh.